Adumo Adum Araqua Philadelphia at the We are indeed holy warriors. Today is the day of ecstasy, it's a day of joy, it's a day of thanksgiving. This is the day for all Philadelphia royals. Today is the 5th of November 2021, and it is the day the Lord has made for us. And for that matter, we should all rejoice and be glad in it. We thank God Almighty for how far he has brought us. Indeed, God has been so merciful unto us Philadelphians and has kept us alive. He has expanded our tentacles and then increased us from strength to strength. And for that matter, there is a cause for us to praise him. Today, the voice of God, Stephen Adunchebia, set it aside for us to come and thank God Almighty. To give glory to the gracious God, Adum Yame, for how far he has brought us. Indeed, we are so grateful. So what he did was that he started with song ministration. And then we all stood up and they made declarations. We read from Psalm 136 from 126. And we all responded with one heart in one accord. We all responded to show gratitude to the Most High God. That indeed the Lord deserves to be praised. He is merciful and his mercy endureth forever. Now having done that, the voice of God expresses profound gratitude to the heavens, to God Almighty, on behalf of we Philadelphia royals. Then he proceeded to give thanks to the angel of Philadelphia, or the Philadelphia angel, the good angel, his guardian angel, for how far he has caught him. He said, along this line, it's been about 33 years of ministry. And this is how far the Lord has brought him. This is because of the friendship, the communion, and the guidance of the Philadelphia angel. Just like the friendship that existed between David and Jonathan. That it was so tight that it went on from one generation to the other. So it got to a time that David asked, Is there anyone from the house of Jonathan that I may show kindness to? And that is what the voice of God was praying for. That this relationship should go on from generation to generation. That the angel of Philadelphia or the Philadelphia angel should guide us and be with Philadelphia, the Philadelphia royals from this generation to the next generation and then go on even to our fourth generation our great great grandchildren that are yet to born because it is through his teachings that he can now explain the word of god vividly and clearly for us all to understand it is through his guidance that he has been able to please god it is through the teachings and the direction of the angel or his guardian angel that is why he has been able to please the heavens now we also have a cause to rejoice as Philadelphia. Why do I say so? We have numerous, or, or we cannot even count our numbers as it stands right now. The movement is spreading like wildfire just within a year. And this is the dream of the God of God Most High. So we have to praise Him for how far He has brought us. Now, the next thing we can also talk of is with this huge number, about millions of Philadelphians, or we can even talk of thousands of Philadelphians. When we cast our eyes back to look at the number of the departed soul, we have less than 10 people. That is globally. Globally. In Kumasi, we can say that we cannot even count up to two members of Philadelphia. Yes. Uh, or more than two people that left. No. This is the doing of the Lord. That a whole congregation as huge or as big as this with that numbers and then Getting less than 10 people living in the year. It means God has kept us. He has preserved us. And then throughout this year, many of us have been blessed with testimonies. Testimonies upon testimonies. The fruit of the womb. Breakthrough. Healing. So many miracles. We can't even count them. You see, kidney problems, liver problems. So we have a cause to praise God Almighty. And for that matter, with one accord, the voice of God led us all. To give thanks to God in heaven. Now, prior to the thanksgiving whereby we all came to present our gifts to God, 
he made us to understand that that isn't the most important thing, the most important aspect. It is about we setting ourselves as a living sacrifice. Now with this, he said that all Philadelphia royals that the Lord has entrusted into his care, none shall be missing. So we read Jeremiah chapter 23 verse 1 to 4 to confirm that it is indeed the Lord who has now elected and chosen shepherds over the flocks that were scattered by men of God, by pastors, so-called pastors, whose only interest is to mock these sheep for their mock and then also to exploit them for their wool. Gather them from across the nations and then bring them under the leadership and the shepherd of the servant, Stephen Adum Chedia, the voice of God. This is what the God we serve has done for us. The Adum Yami we serve, this is how far he has done. And everything we see is a confirmation because the movement is not we that go around establishing movement here and there. It is the doing of the Lord, the zeal of God Almighty that is doing everything. So we can say that Jeremiah chapter 23 Verse number 1 to 4 that we read today has been established in our days. It has been confirmed in our days and in the ministry of the voice of God. And he said, this can only happen when you set yourself aside as living sacrifice, which is holy and acceptable. So those who departed, he said, because they departed in the name of the gracious God, they believe that there is none apart from God, but God Almighty, the God of Israel, then they will not go missing. And the only thing that can be a hindrance is maybe their inability to set themselves as living sacrifice, to consecrate themselves as sacrifice that is holy and acceptable before God. And that one, he prays that God will give them a second chance. That is reincarnation, that they may come and then have the opportunity to correct their wrongs. And he said with this, we should look forward in 2022 that we are going to give birth to children who will come and then will not be crying. A day old born baby will be laughing, not just smiling. They will be laughing aloud because they know that they have arrived in the right place. They've come back to their own domain, the right food where they need to feed and nourish or flourish. Because he said they will come to the land of Philadelphia. Because we know that Philadelphia is now spreading like wildfire. So wherever you land, you will get a Philadelphia royal to give birth to you. Now, he said, we should set ourselves as living sacrifice. That is the most thing that the heaven desires, not giving of offering or uh, anything as a token or money. This has been so difficult for many people to do because we look at what we call as risk. People think that, should I let go of everything and follow Christ, what will I stand to gain? So men of God, many of them couldn't stand because of this risk. So they started looking at how the ministry was going. They were asked, for how long will I continue to wallow in poverty? For how long will my wife and children suffer? So then let me cut corners. But a voice of God said, through it all, when times were very hard, he made that sacrifice. He paid the price. He had that opportunity when people came and he laid their hands on them and they received their miraculous encounters. He could have extorted or used ways and means to get money from them, but he never did that. He went to bed on empty stomachs, sometimes even eating Gary without sugar. Fruits on ripe fruits were, or fruits of the world is what he was eating. Yet he stood firm. Many people that came to follow him thought that this was a risk that is too high that they could not pay. And because of that, they deserted him and left. Because knowing that you're following a man of God, in our days, we know that ministry is something that brings money. And this man of God, after taking the offering, will give it back to the congregants to use as transportation, some to even use to buy food. And then he himself is hungry. Can you think of this? Can you accept this? But this is what he was doing. So many people were afraid of that risk. But he knew that this risk wasn't too risky because he knew that all his hopes and his cares was on the gracious God. So he used an example like you live in a room with only your wife or a friend. You are the only two people that habitate or inhabit in that room. So if you are there and then you keep 
you put your thing aside and you cannot find it anymore. You know the right person to go to. That my friend or my wife is the one I share this place with. So you can ask him. But then, if it is to be a hostel with about 10, 5 people, 2 or 3 more, then it becomes very difficult because you can go to Kofi. Kofi will say it's not with him. You go now. So we Philadelphians, our hope is in only the gracious God. That is what the voice of God did. So he sacrificed everything. His persona, that is his personality. Now his spirit and his soul, everything to God and never seek for a shortcut out of this. And this many Christians are unable to do. Now, he said, because always you have to know the cost of following Christ. There is a cost to follow uh, to, to pay when you want to follow Christ. And that is the cause he knew. So he said when he went to marry, he took his wife and then sat her down. Then explained to her the cost in following Christ. That woman, this is how we are going to do our things because we are going to follow the gracious God, Jesus Christ. So we have to forgo S, Y, and Z. Because of God or the Lord we serve, we cannot do any cheat or fraud we cannot engage ourselves in unthinkable things to get money but we are going to go before him with submission obedience and then sacrifice it all and then having exposed his wife to the truth and the reality in serving christ she also obliged and came on board so if you know the cost that you have to incur, that when you serve Christ, people will work on you. People will speak evil about you. People will not even respect you because you may be at the receiving end. You wouldn't even have the money. You wouldn't have the comfort that you desire. But upon all this, when you stand firm, there's a time coming that those who laughed at you will now look at you to give glory to God. That they will ask, isn't it this person that could not afford a one square meal? A day the person could not even afford 50 pesos of Gary. Look at him, he is now the one that the Lord has blessed. So, that is the cost. You have to know that coming to follow Christ, there is something that you have to renegade, there's something that you have to lose, there are things that you have to endure for the purpose of Christ. And when you know that it is only you and Him, and you have given everything to Him, then whatever you have lost, He is going to give to you in multiple force. That is the risk that many people cannot endure. Now, he used this also as marital problems. That uh, uh, to give an illustration or an education that even as a Christian, there are issues that will occur in your marriage. When they do occur, you don't have to rush to people to present your case to them. Whenever those things happen, it's because you're human and they are bound to happen. So the anger is natural. It is real. It will happen. But make sure you do not let the sun set on your anger. Be quick to resolve such issues. Smile back. Now, the anger came because it is bound to come or because of a deed that happened. But do not be angry with a person that is your wife. Be angry with that deed, that thing that happened. And make sure you solve it amicably. But do not take it to the next level whereby it will escalate and get out of hands. So let us all know that in Christ, we should be always be willing to sacrifice, to pay the price for others, and then be welcoming indeed. Now, when we are able to pay the sacrifice, when we are able to pay the ultimate price, as the voice of God has done, let's look at what is happening. Someone who did not even have a place to sleep, uh, or a house on his own, Building a hostel for church members. Building a church auditorium for his people to come and worship the gracious God. Yet, he had not put up his own structure or accommodation for himself. This is a sacrifice. And because of that, the new Jerusalem in the Bible, God has given him the opportunity and the power to build this on earth. And one person giving that sacrifice to God. This is what God can do when you believe in him. Now, he also spoke of the reason why he is able to do all this is because he does things because of Jesus Christ. He made us to understand today that there is a difference between people who do things in the name of Jesus Christ and those who carry out their day-to-day -day activities because of Jesus Christ. The voice of God, Stephen Aduchedia, is 
said that he's someone that is always conscious of this fact that whatever I'm doing, I'm doing it because of Jesus Christ. He said, people kill in the name of Jesus. So you go to church or prayer meetings and you see people bind in the name of Jesus, kill your in-law, shoot to your family background in the name of Jesus. So you see prayer topics that are raised in the name of Jesus, fire, fire, all these things happen. But when you have it at the back of your mind that whatever I'm doing, I must do because of Jesus. So you, whenever you, are, you encounter a problem, you ask yourself, what would Jesus do if he is in this boat or this situation? What would Jesus do when he encounters such issue or such problem? When you have such mindset, then you walk because of Jesus Christ and always will not glorify this flesh, but you glorify the Spirit and the Father who is in heaven. And this is what the voice of God, Stephen Adum Chedia, has been doing. Now, he gave us the opportunity to present our offering to God. With this, he stood and prayed. He used his body as a point of contact for all Philadelphia royals globally and they presented our offering to God. And having done that, he made a war, he a war, Brimpon, and he made a war, Adum Chedia the first, our mother, an epitome of beauty and virtue, a woman who is so submissive, an example for all Philadelphia royals to emulate and then study from her, to also lead the women to present their offering before the gracious God. And this is said that he, he used her, as a point of contact for everyone to look onto, as a woman, that you should also look onto her and emulate her steps so that it doesn't matter your background, wherever you are coming from, God is more than able to uplift you and then to glorify you when you obey and submit to his will. And he did that. Now, today, there is something that also happened that many people called and they were asking for the opportunity that they will also present their offering because they are nowhere around, uh, uh, near a movement or, or, or this church where we have our head officer or either in Accra and Techiman. So, Having said this, and the voice of God, knowing that people will also want to support and give their offering to the gracious God, which will be given to the needy, then he gave them the opportunity to do so by announcing a, more, a mobile money line. This has never been done in his ministry. He does not beg for money. Let's take note. Many are the people who are quick to criticize. He is not begging for any money. From anyone this is a window that has been created just from today this morning to 6 p.m this evening only for those who also want to give their offering to support the needy to get to the gracious god they will also not be denied of their blessing so this is how far the lord has brought us and with this we should all be joyous we should be merry wherever we are and give glory to the most high god so having done that we pray that we do not live here going back to our, our old life, but we will live to present our bodies as living sacrifice. We should consecrate ourselves for God. And when you do so, that is when our offering shall be acceptable before God. We thank you all for staying with us. We pray thee that we do not just be hearers of the word, but we will do it. And he said this, and I'm going to repeat it, that 2022 is the year of our Lord Jesus Christ. That that is the year that all the promises that Jesus Christ said shall be materialized. They shall manifest in the physical for everyone to see. We shall see a replay of the days of the apostles, the ministry of Peter in our lives, where the shadows of Peter falling on the sick and they getting healed shall also occur. The dead shall rise the sick shall be healed. The barren shall give birth. And even not just one, it shall be twins and many other things. There shall be bountiful harvest that Philadelphia royals, we shall not lack. That is the year 2022. So let us all walk into the year 2022, having paid the price and made up our mindset that we are going to present ourselves as offerings or living sacrifice that is holy and acceptable before the Lord. God bless you all. May he be with us. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.